Hello and welcome class 11 commerce students. Uh, today in this class I am going to start a new chapter of business studies syllabus that is cooperative society. Yes, cooperative society another important chapter of your syllabus. Now, today in this class we will focus on this topic, cooperative society. So, please listen carefully. Previously, we have uh, explained, we have discussed in the class, I have taught you about uh, two uh, different forms of business unit that is sole proprietorship business and partnership business. We have completed those chapters but today uh, our topic will be about focusing on this uh, topic that is cooperative society. Now today I will give you an overview of um, this cooperative society, what cooperative society is, actually how it has evolved. Now um, this industrial revolution, industrial revolution uh, has brought up many changes. It has uh, brought up the mechanism of industry. Previously in our country there were no such uh, factories. Previously it was agriculture, uh, fisheries and different type of cottage industries these type of industries were prevailing in the country but gradually due to industrial revolution some changes has brought up uh, in this industry uh, mechanism that is factory has been set up different types of factory has been set up uh, these uh, has been set up uh, because of this industrial revolution more and more industry has been growing up in the country after this industrial revolution now uh, due to the growth of this industrial due to this upcoming due to this coming of um, due to the evolution of this industrial revolution and evolution of this um, factory what has come what drawback has been arised is the evils of economic power in the hands of the powerful people that is Previously, uh, what I mean to explain is previously there was equal distribution of wealth uh, in the cottage industries and agriculture. There was equal distribution of wealth but due to this uh, industrial revolution and setup of factory, many big big industries has been set up, has been established and due to this economic power has uh, synchronized uh, into hands of few. And um, when this industrial revolution has uh, evolved more and more, many, in, uh, many uh, trade barriers has been removed. And uh, due to the advent of, due to globalization also, uh, many uh, export trade, imp uh, export import trade has been set up. Due to these evils of these middlemen has also increased. So economic power as well as profiteering profiteering means illegal means of profit has also increased so to break this monopoly to break this uh, chain of middlemen to break this evils of profiteering uh, these cooperative society has been set up these cooperative society has been evolved now this word listen to me carefully this word cooperative society Cooperative society. This word cooperative consists of two different words. This word, word cooperative consists of two different words. If you see, then the first word is co. The first word is co. Cooperative. The first word is co. Now this co means together. Co means together. Co means together and this operative, this part operative, operative means nothing but to operate or to work, to operate or to work. So co means together and operative means to work. So here cooperative means to work together. Cooperative society is nothing, it means working together now who is working together in the major forms of business organization so far that we have discussed uh, 
every business organization have the same and equal motive that is profit earning but this cooperative society is not coming up with a motive of profit earning it is not coming up with the motive of profit earning rather it is coming up with the motive of um, equal distribution uh, service motive or uh, serving the society serving the society or service motive uh, not the profit or the earning motive service motive is the main motive of this kind of cooperative organization that means working together to serve the society working together not to make profit but to serve the society service motive is the main motive of these type of organizations a cooperative uh, society is essentially speaking it is an association of person who join together voluntarily through an open membership um, uh, to uh, render service to the society so uh, this is the main main motive of this cooperative society i repeat cooperative society is essentially organizing and rendering service to the organization and its members who join voluntarily it is an association of person who join together on a voluntary basis for the uh, carrying of business it has economic interest but not profit motive uh, service motive rendering service is the main motive of this kind of organization so the basic philosophy there are certain basic philosophy of this cooperative society now point wise i will try to clear up what are the basic philosophy of these type of uh, society first one is service in place of profit first philosophy is service and not profit serving the members of the society all the members of the society serve each other for the upliftment of their society and they doesn't seek for profit they doesn't want to make profit out of the business next point is mutual help mutual help mutual help this is another uh, philosophy of uh, this kind of society that is helping each other mutual help is the uh, second uh, philosophy another philosophy of this type of society is uh, open membership voluntary association this is a voluntary association anybody has the right to free entry and free exit that means anybody who is willing to join the society can join any time and anybody who wants to leave the society is free to leave so free entry and free exit so voluntary association it is a voluntary association so <clears throat> these are the um, main uh, philosophy of this Uh, cooperative society another uh, is uh, self help in place of dependence self help they tries to help themselves self help so this is another feature they try to help each other they try to help themselves from this society how that i will explain afterward but they try to help themselves rather than depending on anybody they try to help uh, themselves by providing goods at a low rate at a reasonable rate which is quite low from the market uh, rate so in this way they try to this is an example how they try to help themselves so self help is another important philosophy of this um, uh, cooperative society uh, and uh, these kind of society first came into existence in the year 1912 please uh, don't forget this year this will come in the mcq that this kind of society was first established first came up in the year 1912 uh, so these are the few basic philosophy philosophy upon which this type of business has been set up this type of society has come up this is another important 
feature, this is another important uh, business unit like sole proprietorship, like partnership, cooperative society is also another important form of business unit. Uh, I will provide you more classes, more videos uh, based on these chapter, this cooperative society to uh, give you a clear concept about this society. Uh, I hope you have understood whatever I have explained through this class. More classes I will provide. So keep on watching. Thank you.